Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Grains are lower, happy leap year. Um, beans are down 10 cents because of higher deliveries. Meal down um, $3 because of the delivery of one contract. Corn's down 2 cents, all wheat's anywhere. Uh, wheat's about 1 cent lower. Outside market stocks are lower. Dollars are a little bit higher. Crude's about unchanged. Gold's lower. And uh, we're seeing a little selling in coffee, sugar, Cotton's off its highs, so is cattle and cocoa continues to trade higher. Down in South America, 50% um, of the soybeans in Brazil is harvested, but it's either good weather or low demand. It's got logistics better than normal. Um, the rains are mostly in uh, northern Argentina, southern Brazil. Um, rains in the U.S., Delta in the eastern Corn Belt, but there is some shower activity possible in the western Corn Belt next week. Um, soybean export sales 100 to 600,000 tons. As estimated, 250 to 550 meal. The trend of higher meal export sales continue versus soybean sales. China demand is up, but they're buying from the cheaper Brazil. Corn market had rallied 23 cents from the recent low in the May. Ethanol production was above a year ago. Uh, still, uh, Brazil corn futures are lower and concern about demand. China is buying um, corn from Ukraine despite record crop, and uh, Ukraine should be shipping vessels um, in an okay fashion, and uh, the Chinese vessels will probably go through the Red Sea. Funds short covering um, corn on the fact that China is buying, uh, U.S. Brazil domestic market, industrial market is buying Brazil weather, and the potential for some dry U.S. summer weather. Uh, the negative side of corn obviously is the higher U.S. stocks and competition for U.S. exports with corn sales this week, 600 to 1.2 million tons. Uh, U.S. weather is crazy. Yesterday we had cold weather in the Midwest. This weekend is going to be warm, cold, and next week uh, not expected to have any problems with the, um, <clears throat> with the wheat crop. There were um, 702 soybean deliveries, uh, 271 soybean oil, one meal, no corn. Chicago wheat was 484, so the wheat and soybean sales much higher than expected. Uh, Australian futures are lower. Matif wheat futures made new contract lows on the March contract. Combined Ukraine and Russia wheat exports for February was a record 6.5 million tons. Um, Russian prices are down to 208, um, but there is some talk about Russia concerned about lower foreign prices of, of wheat. So um, we'll be looking to see how low is low in this little sell-off because of deliveries and the fact that there's no real weather concerns yet um, and the fact that exports of the U.S. sales are, are below pace that would help the market rally.